Hello, and uh, happy 4th of July. Um, Dan, back with another Brown Liquor Review. Uh, this one is Brown Liquor Review number 18. And so, uh, what I was thinking is that since it's an 18th review, I would do um, Glenlivet 18-year-old. Uh, it's not really the most American thing that I could do today, but actually I am going to try to do a whole bunch of reviews because um, I am at the Jersey Shore today uh, with my wife and uh, she's down at the beach and I thought, hey, maybe if I can sneak in a whole bunch of reviews real quick, that would be really great. I haven't done a review in a while, so... Uh, I'm shooting to do quite a few reviews this afternoon, and plus, I get bored sitting on the beach, so uh, this is a lot more fun. So, uh, without further ado, uh, this is Glenlivet 18-year-old. My wife actually bought me this for my birthday last year, and it's not really something that I would have purchased, but I thought it was you know, a really great gift, and uh, she did a really good job picking it out. So it's not something I would I would normally buy, but I definitely enjoyed receiving it. You know, this is a classic single malt, um, but it does have a pretty hefty uh, tag on it, price tag on it. It's Glenlivet. It's readily accessible. You know, this is one of those ones where it's kind of a I don't know, one of those status symbols that if you can have some old Glen live it around, then uh, it's pretty good. But I want this to be a pretty short review, so <laughs> let me stop talking so much. Um, on the nose, and look, I don't have my Glen Karen glass. I forgot it at home. Um, but I found this little little guy right here, and it tends to be working out pretty good. So, right off the bat, you're getting... Um, dried fruits like figs and dates and apricots. I really enjoy the apricot note. It smells pretty dry. Um, this is a single malt so it's 100 percent barley as you guys know. And it really comes through. It kind of smells like a summer field with grass and you know all the weeds and the pollen. So even though it's 18 years old it has a pretty fresh nose to it. Really nice. It's been 18 years old in um, a cask. It doesn't tell me what kind of cask. I guess it would be sherry, but um, I can't verify that. Uh, it's not on the label. Um, I wish that it was on the label because the more you know about something um, as a consumer, I think it's you know, a better product to buy. Um, but this one, you know, it, it, it carries a good name, so. Uh, so, it, it's been spending a lot of time in the wood. It's got kind of a old, old wood, antique furniture kind of a smell to it. And it definitely has, uh, like, some old leather notes. Like, if you stuck your uh, face into a baseball glove, it really gets that going. On the taste... The reason why I guess it's a sherry cask because it tastes a lot like sherry. You get the figs, the dates, the apricots, the prunes, the raisins, you know, all those dried pitted fruits. Very nice. The mouth feels great. It's full from start to finish. Uh, it's just a really nice, sweet, and then drying into the finish. Velvety feel. It's got a wood varnish kind of a taste. It's got like the mail pouch tobacco, like a Red Man or a Levi Garrett. So it's, you know, got that sweet tobacco note to it. Um, the mouthfeel is very velvety. And it kind of reminds me um, of a dark chocolate, like a real heavy, you know, a cocoa presence in there. 
And then finally, just like the old, old baseball glove, I, I really get leather, too. Overall, it's a very nice aged single malt to be shared with good friends who do not have a lot of experience with whiskey. Um, you know, this isn't going to challenge anybody. You know, this isn't like an old Paltney or uh, Springbank or something like that. This is a very palatable, tasty whiskey. Uh, it's not complex, but it is surely enjoyable. And I think that one day I would actually buy another bottle of this. Especially, you know, my father-in-law loves this stuff. And as you can see, him and I have put a hurt on it over the course of the year. I give this one a sturdy 88. And, you know, if, if you have some friends coming around who you uh, want to celebrate with, but they aren't necessarily whiskey aficionados, I would say pick this one up. I think it's really great. You know, it carries that 18 year old age statement, which, you know, really kind of says, hey, this is a special occasion. So like I said, an 88, very good score. And I look forward to seeing you again. Please comment if you have any ideas about this. Uh, like I said, from the very beginning, I'm doing these reviews as kind of like a diary of all the whiskeys that I taste um, and just sharing my ideas about it. Hopefully it will inform you the next time you're standing in um, a whiskey store and there's like millions and millions of choices. Maybe you'll be like, oh, Dan liked that one. Maybe I can give it a shot. So if I can help you out that way, then that's really great. So. Happy birthday, old glory, and uh, I'll see you again very shortly with another review. Thank you.